And so 39, the car, 41, a little larger version. And then in 46, this got built. All right? 1946. And so, 1946. 70 years. Right. 70 years. So in those days, you know, we had a hot dog, a hamburger, a tamale. That was it. Three things on the menu. But then around 1985, my parents got a little too old to run it. And my wife and I took it over and I expanded. Now we got 35 kinds of hot dogs on the menu, 12 kinds of burgers, all kinds of reasons to come here and not get bored with the menu and all of that. So in those days, we were probably selling 50 or 100 hot dogs a day. Today we sell about 1,500 to 200 to 2,000 dogs a day. And you know, a lot of people say, well, how come you've never expanded? And actually we have. But we built, the, the job of my wife was to build the brand and she worked the radio station from the left side to the right side by calling all the newscasters, broadcasters, DJs, and bring hot dogs in exchange for them giving us free advertising, because we couldn't afford advertising budget, free advertising on the radio. And, and that's how we sort of built the brand. And then amusement parks and casinos wanted to license our brand. And so we've opened up in a Vegas, in Ohio, San Diego, Miami, Hawaii. And actually our latest outlet is gonna be in Manila where we're opening up in a couple of months. So part of, part of the mistake, we're all close to 20th Century Fox and Universal Studios and Paramount and a lot of movie stars back in those days figured that some of the, like Howard Hughes used to come here, Spencer Tracy, and they'll discover me. So they put their pictures up on the wall to get, in fact, Michael J. Fox claims that he got the call for family ties on our public telephone. Really? He didn't even have a telephone. So, and so what I'm gonna do, you know, this would be the normal version in the lineup and order here, get inside, but we'll take you inside. Holly um, Press, Gloria Esteban Singh in front of Pinks. Bruce Willis proposed to Demi Moore at Pinks. We got some celebrity chefs. Uh, Gordon Ramsay's cooked behind the counter. Martha Stewart created her own hot dog at Pinks. Uh, Guy Fieri's had us on Triple D's. I love what, uh, what uh, uh, Ellen has said about my wife. Gloria, when I think of Buns, I think of you. There's <laughs> Katie Perry, Michael Jackson. He was coming to Pinks when he wasn't even tall enough to see you on the counter. My dad remembers all that. Skin. So it's what's called, uh, it's, that's why you get that snap when you buy it. That was critical. So that was, we started with the 7 inch, then we went to the 9 inch stretch, then we went to Polish, mild, spicy, and then we went to a 12 inch jalapeno dog and all that. It's all beef. It's not kosher because it's too expensive to be kosher. I mean, you can sell it at a pretty low price to justify all the you have to go through the rabbi. And they borrowed the fifty dollars from my grandmother. Okay, that and they came here in 1939, and they rented this site for fifteen dollars a month. And uh, and hot dogs were being sold at that time at ten cents. Cokes were a nickel. All right, and they didn't even have any electricity on the site. The landlord said, "Here, you can have the site, fifteen bucks a month, but there's no electricity. Figure it out." And they needed an extension cord that went from here all the way down the street to the corner building there. There was a hardware store. And the guy said, if you buy an extension cord, it was about 100 yards, I'll let you plug into my outlet to fire up Pink's, the original. That's how Pink's fired up for the first two years off of an extension cord. So That's nine, amazing. So 1939, they were paying that rent. 41, the landlord raised the rent, 67%. All right, from $15 to $25, couldn't afford it. So they went across the street, and fortunately there was a Bank of America on the corner, and the manager of that Bank of America, he loved hot dogs. He said, I don't wanna see you guys being pushed out of business. What do you need to buy the land? They said, we need $4,000. And that's what it cost in 1941 to buy all this land. To buy it? What did that area look like back then, do you think? It was weeds, trees, there was nothing here. This whole area? Yeah, yeah. this was all vacant land, vacant land. I mean, that building was there, the school was there, but that's about it. And so in 41, then they bought the property and they built a little larger cart, if you will. And then in 46, they built this hot dog stand. So we'll go around and show you some pictures. 